on my eyes so the first color i'm going to go into in this bad habit palette is this color summer here which is totally not autumn but it's um what i'm going to use as a transition shade so i'm literally winging it here guys with you um i don't know how this palette's going to work to to be honest i have used it before but uh not to create this look so we're literally winging it and doing this together so you'll totally have to let me know what you think of this look after and be honest as well i'd rather you guys let me know if you think it's pants if you don't think it's you know what i should wear on the wedding day i'd like to hear your opinions on it i may just go with it anyway if i really like it uh but it's still good to hear other people's thoughts on it so yeah so let me know totally let me know what you guys think because I'm not, I'm not your traditional bride, I'm not wearing, I am wearing a wedding dress, but I'm not doing the whole neutral shade thing, I don't think, because I don't think that's what I'd want to do, because yes, I wear browns for work and neutral shades for work, but if I'm going out somewhere, I like to have a little bit more of a pop to my eyeshadow, uh, so I think this would be more me. Um, also, I have heard that if you, um, when it comes, because obviously you guys um, see me do makeup for YouTube and stuff, but obviously I've never had a, like a photo shoot or anything like that. And I've heard or read online that um, when it comes to makeup on photo shoots, um, a lady told me the other day when I was going to buy my hair, the lady at the bridal place where I brought my hair, which is Dream Hair. I will link her Facebook page down below because she's a bridal hair specialist um, and she was super nice and super helpful. And she said that when the camera takes pictures, it takes away a couple of, uh, of it takes away some of the color. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, if I'm a little bit more vibrant, it's not gonna hurt so much because if the camera's gonna take away some of the color, then it's best to, be a little bit heavier than a little bit paler and it looked like I've, I sort of look washed out so I'm probably going to go more down this route I think anyway regardless so and obviously the the Morphe palettes are a little bit more pigmented this with than this so I'd have to have a go with my daughter's Morphe palette and try it out again and see what it looks like with the Morphe colours so the next shade I'm going to go in with is I'm going to go in with Equinox, which is this shade here. And um, I'm going to put that over the top of the yellow. I'm going to just clean off this brush uh, and use this brush again because it's really soft and really fluffy and nice. So go in with that Equinox. Very, very much a lot of fallout with these this eyeshadow palette. So the pigment might not be what I want, but it's going to give me a rough idea of what I'm gonna do so we're just gonna blend and blend and blend until we're happy build up that color you may not even see the yellow but I just wanted to have that sort of autumny transitiony yellowy red burgundy I, know, burgundy I wanted that orangey what literally what's behind me my background is everything right now it's the perfect it's literally what I want for my eyes <laughs> so let's base it on what's going on behind me as well so that's i love you know the colors of the trees in autumn is just amazing the beautiful red gold tones and i also know i don't want to use any shimmer when it comes to my wedding makeup at all there's going to be no shimmery colors on my eyes because when it comes to photos and shimmer it's just not flattering if they're using flash photography because the shimmer just sort of, it just, just sort of attracts it to the any flaws or wrinkles you may have in your eyes so we don't need any more help with that because i've got enough wrinkles on my eyes so we're not going to draw attention to them so um matte colors will be all i'll be using um but i'm not mad at that because i do like my matte colors usually like a bit of shimmer on the just on the inner corner but we're not going to do that we're just going to keep it totally matte so i'm going to keep doing this eye and then we'll move on to the next color
I'm just building that colour up in the outer corner as well because it's really pretty and I want to do that there and build up all the colours because it's super super nice I really like these colours real lot of fallout on this and obviously I've got my foundation on so I need to be careful otherwise I'll be doing a lot of clean up as this video goes on so the next shade I'm going to go into is this colour here, this earth colour I'm going to go into that one now and apply that exactly the same over the top of the colours that I've already applied just building up those beautiful brownie red shades and just sort of focusing it on the outer corner with the same fluffy brush and it doesn't really matter that I've got the shade before on because they're not totally dissimilar but there's a bit of depth, more depth to this colour so I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner and just bring it up into the crease as well. Might try not to bring it too, too high up because I kind of like the transition that I've got going on up there at the minute. So I might just keep it focused in this sort of lower pop portion of my crease and just keep blending that in until I'm happy with that and then I will do the other eye and then we'll move on to the next shade. This is actually trying, sort of starting to relax me a little bit because I've been so on edge and stressed and um, my partner's cousin said that she'd done her own makeup for her wedding and I was just like thinking oh I took on too much and she said it made her feel calmer doing her own wedding makeup than it did for if somebody else had done it so maybe it is a good thing maybe it'll just give me time to just sit and focus on something that's uh, not me worrying about the wedding but uh just focusing so I'm just gonna do that and I'll finish this eye and then I'll move on to the next colour So that is that and now I'm going to go in with to start with I'm going to go in with like a small fluffy brush because this is the darkest shade that I'm going to use and um, I want that to be uh, <laughs> I had a bit of a brain so now I'm going to take this little fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the darker shade now I've gone, gone for a small one because it's more precise and Oh, so I've got itchy nose, guys. And it's um, a darker colour, so I just want to focus that. It's this colour here called Dusk. And I just want to focus that on the outer corner and bring it up into the, the crease. Um, but I just, I don't want it to be too, too heavy, but enough so that it blends really nicely with everything else. So I'll probably put it on with a fluffy brush, this little sort of small precise one, because I can be more precise with it. And then I might go in with a bigger fluffy brush after, like a clean one, just to blend it all together. So, really liking these colours so far. I know my hair's going to be pink, but I generally don't care when it comes to eyeshadow. I, you know how people say you can't wear that colour eyeshadow because it doesn't go with your hair. I, I don't actually care about that sort of thing when it comes to eyeshadow. Um, I wear whatever I want, basically. If I like it, I'll wear it. If you don't like it, um sorry but I like it so that's all that matters <laughs> that's just how I've always been with my um, eyeshadow and different colours and things like that so just gonna bring that in and just gently blend it up into those other colours might not even need to go in with that really fluffy brush because I might need to just fluff it up a little bit in the edges but that's quite nice I'm really liking that so far 
So I'll do the other eye and I'll speed that up and I'll be back in a minute. Right, now I am quickly going to cut a crease um, and then apply a shade on my inner corner. Oh, I hope my camera doesn't cut off. Oh, Um, I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond uh, because, quite honestly, I have run out of concealer and uh, this is all I've got at the minute until I buy some more. So we're just going to work with what we got. So yeah, I'm just going to cut a crease here <clears throat> and uh, then apply another shade. Hopefully this works out really well. Um, what else have I got to update you guys on? My flowers should be here on, uh, well, they're getting posted Sunday, I think the lady said. So, um, a little bit later than I expected, but she said they're going to be posted out on Sunday, which is like, well, within time for the wedding, it's like well within time. But uh, considering I was, it was supposed to be Monday, but it's the end of, it'll be the end of the week, so... We shall see. I can't wait to see them. What I saw from what she's done is amazing, so they should be pretty awesome. I'll just finish this eye and then we'll put on the colour over the top of the crease we've cut. Now that is done, we are going to go into this colour here, this little orangey shade called Fall. And then we're going to apply that and press it on over the crease I've cut. And hopefully it looks really, really pretty. <laughs> I'm quite liking it so far, so just let me know what you guys think to it. Do you think this is something I should wear for the wedding? It's definitely, it definitely goes in with the whole because obviously it'd be in the 7th of October it's to me that's that's the beginning of fall isn't it technically what is the official date for fall I actually don't know say up fall in the UK it's autumn so when does autumn officially begin in the UK I have no idea <laughs> so obviously this isn't the palette that I'll be using for the wedding makeup um so but because the colours in it are quite, you get them in quite a lot of palettes. So I, I'm not too worried that I'll be able to, that I won't be able to recreate it with another palette. So, and I probably would do another practice run before the wedding. Um, 
but it, even if it was slightly different I wouldn't be mad because as long as it's on, along the same sort of lines as what I like then why not Sometimes it's best better to be like creative rather than uh, to follow it exactly as it me as it is. You maybe should it's sometimes best to just go with the flow and see where it takes you. So I'm going back into that dark coloured dusk with this little fluffy brush just to bring those edges in where I've added that fall colour so that it doesn't look so harsh. Actually, what I might do is go in with this ready colour here called Basque and see what that looks like. And then if I don't like it, I'll just go back over with the darker shade. So we're just going to run that here. See what that looks like. So now that I've done that, I will probably diffuse that a little bit with the brown colour but it'll warm it all up so that it'll look like a ready brown rather than um, just a static dark brown. So we'll go in with that and then we're going to go in with that dark colour again. So going back into the dust colour. I'm just going over the top of the red that I've applied and just really blending that out so that it looks nice and blended together. I may go over it with a clean fluffy brush as well just to um, blend it even more so. I'm a proper blender holic. I, I like to blend because it just brings everything together when you do really really when you blends really really well so that's what I mean when you when you guys see makeup videos you don't see the half of the blending that goes into these looks it takes a lot longer than you realize at this point my camera will probably cut off because it's gonna overheat it always overheats at like within about half an hour of being turned on really strange I have no idea why it does it but uh it is what it is and we just work with the camera we've got so I'm going to go back into that four colour now and I'm just going to bring that across over what I've applied and just blend it all outwards like just drag it out so that it gives a nice blend into all the other colours and that orange shade is still there So that is that, quite liking that, I am going to get another bit of a blend going on if I can find the fluffy brush I've been using, there it is, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean, I'm not cleaning it on my leg by the way guys, there's a, there's a cleaning, um, like a switch on my knee so I'm just going to give that a nice blend and then when I've done that I'm going to put some eyeliner on and maybe some lashes and you guys, I mean if you did want to see that in another video I'm quite happy but I think because I don't want this to drag on for you guys too much um, I will just apply the lashes and things off camera um, but you guys have seen me apply them before so but if there's any questions just ask me in the comments below um, so yeah, I'll go and do that, put some eyeliner, mascara and some lashes and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back, I've done a bit of a winged eyeliner and put some lashes on, these are just some cheap, I don't even know where I got them from, it had like a day and a night thing, they're just like cheap wispy lashes and I will definitely be buying a really nice set of wispy lashes. I don't know what kind yet so totally recommend me some eyelashes that I should wear for the wedding in the comments below. Right so now I'm going to finish this look so I'm going to go in with that colour Dusk, this dark one and I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner because you guys know that I always sort of do the outer corner of my lower lash line with the eyeshadow just to finish the look and I don't always bring it all the way under and I don't want to do that to 
for this look because um, I want my eyes to look really open and not too dark um, so I'm just going to go in with that on the outer corner on both sides of course obviously this is like a practice run so it you know hopefully it will be a lot better than this on the day and it'll look really polished and good because that's the one thing I'm absolutely terrified of is looking a mess on the wedding day because I just want it to look so perfect and I've got to take that pressure off myself because it's never going to be perfect there's always going to be something there's going to be something all the time so I've done that now I'm going to do one of two things I don't know whether to go in with a nude or go in with a dark I'm going to go in with dark this time and if I don't like it I'll go in with a nude on the actual wedding day so and I do need waterproof everything um, so I've got to go on a hunt for the best because I don't wear waterproof makeup as a, a you know like generally because it's not something I need but I think for the wedding day uh, yeah there's gonna be a lot of crying <laughs> so I think it's best that I invest in some waterproof mascara and waterproof liners so I really need your guys opinion I'm obviously going to do my own research because I always do but let me know what guys you know if you use any waterproof products what what are your go-to waterproof products what do you recommend so and I'm not going to put any shimmer in my inner corner highlight I may put a bit of white but it won't be like um, like shimmery white I think it's just going to be a plain white shade which I don't have which I'm going to take out of the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm just going to get that and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner a little bit so it's like a little bit of highlight but nothing major because I don't I mean I probably could get away with a bit of shimmer but I, I kind of don't want to risk it on the photos and I know they can probably touch it up and I may decide to on the actual wedding days just pop a, a, a little bit of a blinding highlight in the inner corner but for now Two Faced Chocolate Bar Palette with the white chocolate colour is what's going in on my brow bone and on my inner corner. So that is that. Just going to give that a little blend there because I can see that it's not joining and it's bugging me. So there, that is that. So for blush, I'm going to go in, I want to get, like, I don't know, this colour might be perfect though. I'm going to, I want like an autumn-y colour, so... This is the Peach Bellini colour from Model Co, which is, I, I love this blusher, um, but I don't know, I don't know what, that's my contour brush, I don't know what to go in with with the blush because I don't want it to be too much, so, but it's got to be enough because the photos have got to be, pick it up. Now I've done a bit more research, I need, to, I need it to be like a nice, nice pop of colour, but not too much colour. Because I don't want to look like a clown. I probably will get a matte blush. I want to keep everything matte. I don't want too much shimmer, I don't think. Um, obviously, again, for flash photography reasons. Because I don't want to put any emphasis on any wrinkles that I have on my face. So that's why I'm going to keep it. As matte and this is quite a shimmery blush so I probably will invest in a more, more matte blush and the highlighter I have decided I'm gonna go in with a nice subtle highlighter I have got Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess and that's actually quite a subtle highlighter so I may just use that one but I haven't got that upstairs with me I have got this Pixie by Petra one so we're gonna go in with that and we're literally the only place I'm going to highlight, because I've been watching videos, <laughs> I've been doing my research, the only place I'm going to highlight is just my cheeks. I'm not going to go in with my nose or anything like that because I don't want a Rudolph, Rudolph? I don't want a blinding glow on my nose and it to be like really obvious in photos. So I'm literally just going to go in with the cheeks. And it's really hard not to run it across my nose like I really would normally. But um, I think I'm definitely going to go with 
just the cheeks and that is it so that is all that it's getting and lips you guys will know if you follow me on instagram um i have fell in love with a lipstick and um originally it was a uh, dose of colors one but i think it was like a limited edition so it's not available anymore i forget the shade that it is so i reached out on a facebook beauty page and said does anybody know you know where i can get this color or something similar and lots of people got back to me and my daughter actually put um a little picture she found on google that just showed all of the dupes for this shade um and the one that came up and i really liked was um Kat Von D Vampira and I absolutely love it I'm going to get it I don't have it yet so for now I love this shade because it's like a blacky red shade um but this transfers and I need a lipstick that's not going to transfer otherwise I would have gone with Tainted Temptress by Lunatic Cosmetics um as my lip colour so I'm going to put this on I'm not going to in fact what I will do is I'm just going to exfoliate my lips a little bit because again I've been looking online and it says exfoliate your lips like every day in the week up to the wedding mm -hmm. so that's what I'm going to do every day so let's just check that's not on there still because I do find with these scrubs you tend to end up with like lots of sugar on your lips and it doesn't all come off and then it ends up in your lipstick so i'm licking my lips for a minute <laughs> and it's all safe to eat so it's, it's all good i think we're good all right so i'm going to go in with a tainted temptress and then i will let you guys uh see the finished look and see what you think So I know it's very dark, but I really love it. I, let me just check how similar this is to the colour that I actually want by Kat Von D. Uh, I needed it to be like a matte colour as well. So I think the colour that I want, it's kind of, it's quite similar obviously mine is more i don't know whether my phone will if whether it will the camera will pick up the picture on my phone with glare from the um <laughs> ring light sorry i went mind blank again then um but that's quite similar only this isn't matte and I need it to be matte and non-transferable I know this colour lasts it's not like like it doesn't last it's really long lasting but because it doesn't like dry down matte and stay kiss proof I'm pretty sure it doesn't um because none of my other ones do by um lunatic um but I love this shade and I know it's really dark and quite dramatic but I really really love it I, I just love I think this is definitely me when it comes to I just yeah I'm looking at myself in the mirror guys because I'm thinking 
I like. Do you like? Do you think I should wear this? Do you think this is a good... Um, I know it's not your traditional makeup when it comes to wedding makeup, but I'm not like getting married in a church. I'm not a traditional person really. I like to step outside the box. So I really like it and I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a, a nice wedding makeup? Do you think this is me? Because I'm an alternative bride. I'm not your normal fairy princess ball gown. I've got a lime green underskirt for God's sake. So, you know, I'm not doing everything by the norm. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is like a an alternative glam um, wedding makeup look? So yeah, um, that is it. If there's any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think of this look. Let me know. I would really love to hear your thoughts. Um, but I think I found it. I think I found what I want to look like on my wedding day. And my hair will be like um, brighter pink. So it I, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. And I love, I love the lip shade. Um, and I hope the vampire one is nice as this because this is one. This is literally this is the um, Tainted Temptress by Lunatic, and this is my favourite shade by them. I absolutely love it. I thought it was Coven Cream, but now it's Tainted Temptress. I love it because it's not black and it's not red. It's just it's really really pretty. So let me know give me a thumbs up if you like this uh wedding video wedding makeup video um if you haven't already subscribe and see what else there is to come but that is it for this time guys can't wait to hear your thoughts but i shall let you go now have an awesome evening and i will see you in the next one bye